Hey guys, welcome back to this new video. And if you are wondering why my mic sounds like such shit, uh, well, that's because I have a really confusing microphone that only works once in two weeks, and I don't know why. And it's annoying, so I'm using another microphone, and the microphone I'm using is for my for, from my camera right now. Okay, so that's that. Um, uh, I'm going to explain how you make uh, the textures uh, textures uh, for this. I'm going to explain how to make uh, an ambient occlusion node, which I probably don't even have to do because there's a thin film thing in, made in the shader from Fry's. Uh, 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 I'm going to explain how to make FX textures work and what I'm going to explain what they do. Uh, yeah, that would probably be it. Um, so, uh, I'll I'm, going, I'm just going to explain a lot of things, how they work. Okay, so uh, I'm going to save this, I'm going to make a new thing. Okay, so we have this head. Uh, we have a head. So what I'm going to tell you is how effects textures. Mo uh, most of the part of what this is going to be is how to make effects textures uh, work. So, uh, I'm going to append the... Fortnite custom shader by Fry's because Fry's is awesome and he knows a lot about Blender and nodes. Uh, so I will use this uh, right now. Yeah, and I'll grab the textures for the head. Yeah. Uh, so I'll go ahead and so. There's a lot of textures in here, and I'll just use the. No, I want the blue. No, 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 no. It's in the white. All the textures are in the white head. Okay, so um, we want these textures, of course. Oh, these, all of these, all of them. We want all of the textures. Bring them all in there. Yeah. Okay, now we've got a lot of textures. And we're going to move it right there. Okay, I'm gonna go speed up this part where I just oh where I just uh put everything together because I am assuming you already know how that works. So uh, we've got a lot of these, and if you uh, look at these, uh, you see that they won't uh, be in the right place where they have to be. So there's one single simple uh, solution to this. It's just press Ctrl T. By the way, you have to uh, enable a plugin called Node Wrangler. It's really easy, really. Convenient, uh, and if you look, if you uh, if you grab this again, uh, it still doesn't work. But that's because you have turned this down to uh, 0.5. Both of these. Uh, that's it. That's literally how you uh, get these textures to be right there. Uh, and that I, I learned that from my friend. Core, my German friend Core, and as you can see, all of these except for this one because this one is a retard uh, are in place now. And uh, this one is pretty. This one is a special boy, so we're gonna discuss this one later. Uh, but uh, we've got to do other things now. Okay, so uh, we've got an FX texture. Where is it? There is it. And if you look at this, it's just often it's just uh, some colors, and 
you don't know what to do with them. So, uh, you can go ahead and most of the time you can just go ahead and, and add and separate RGB node and just drag that in there. And as you can see, this is already doing something. So, uh, this is selecting only the glass. So, you can do something with it. Basically, effects textures make give you the opportunity to do your own thing with the uh, selected area uh, it's it's really handy convenient it's just I use it a lot uh, as you can see you want this part of the helmet to light up uh, to light up right well no worries about that uh, you can just plug it in here but what I prefer is just go ahead and I'm, now I'm just going to show you how to do it uh, in general. So uh, you have to add a shader. And you have to add a mix shader. Plug that in there. Add an emission. Uh, turn on bloom. Plug that in there. Plug it in there. You'll see this happens. But whenever you plug in like the R, so this is uh, this is the R, or the G or the G, it just it's going to oh this is wrong like that. It's going to project it on here. So that's basically how you make uh, FX textures do something. Now you can just go ahead and. Uh, do something else than an emission. So if you just add a principal shader, you can do that too. There you go. And you can make it like really not rough and really metallic. And now you've got a mirror. Yeah, awesome. Uh, but what you want for this character is an emission. So we'll keep that in here. Uh, kind of like a red just bring that strength up uh, and this is how you get that uh, effects texture to do something uh, it's so easy it's just two nodes basically or just three and then just add something at your own will uh, uh, now we still have these so uh, yeah it's literally the same thing you can go ahead and plug that in there and you have this you can go ahead and plug that in there you have that you can go ahead and plug that in there and you have this but that's not uh, the right way so we're going to discuss how to make this face do something um, yeah so uh, you have to basically make two of these if you want this to look better and make a mix RGB and this one has to be separate from the other one this one has to no this one has to be non color and this one has to be an RGB and the non color one is going to get his own separate RGB thingy uh, well, well, drag that over here and as you can see it's got this but it's also got this and we want this for the other thing so for the down and we've got this so we want here yep 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 that yeah indeed and only the green so um as you can see uh, wait I'll show you what happens if you put this to non color that's what, this is why I uh, created two of these. Uh, this basically makes this, uh, and you don't want that because what we want from this uh, uh, head is one thing, and that's uh, that. Oh, where's RGB? And that's it to make this thing do this. Cool, right? Yeah. Now this is quite easy too, uh, the only thing you have to do is that, basically, and just make this and add, uh, 
what you also can do is uh, just plug that in there and you've got it and now you can just drag this and if you're done with that you can drag this into the factor and like that you have got your amazing animated thingy and you can animate this by uh, inserting well press by pressing I you can insert a keyframe if you just uh, let's uh, grab the timeline if you just go to frame uh, 44 uh, well make it end at 44 too and make this go all the way like that insert a keyframe you'll see that it animate like that awesome uh, okay so yeah that's basically that's how uh, effects textures work now let's uh, take a look at wait I'm just going to explain how all of the textures of the most common textures work so uh, the end texture is basically uh, for the normals it it has to make some things look popping look <sighs> pop out so uh, it just has to refine the lines basically so you can uh, make things look more edgier by uh, increasing the normals uh, yeah yeah it's just sometimes it makes it look more realistic sometimes it doesn't it's just what you like you can just increase this you can increase the meta met metallic gloss how you like it wait let's get cycles too by the way and add an environment texture so it also works in cycles I think <laughs> that's a pretty bold thing to say but let's see does it work in cycles yes it does um, Okay, so what did we want to make again? Oh yeah, so, uh, okay, but we're going to go look at the S texture. So the S texture makes, basically, it, uh, helps this texture to see where it has to, some parts have to be glossy, whether it be, to be glossy or, uh, metallic or just the roughness turned all the way down or up uh, yeah so if you that, that's what the extra texture is for <laughs> um, but the most important the diffuses by the way is for the colors it, that, that's literally it it's for the colors only uh, but we've got the M texture the mask the default where is the mask where's my mask where is it? This is my mask, isn't it? Yep. Uh, and as you can see, this is strange. This is cool. Now, um, I know there's a lot of ways you can use this, uh, but it's, m in my opinion, it's mainly for uh, like skin, human skin, and for. Uh, ambient occlusion so I think you can just do it with this shader uh, and then just uh, thin film uh, yeah if we just go ahead and I don't know I don't know how that works I never tried it Yeah. Well, I, I'm gonna, I'm just going to explain how to do it yourself, um, or just I, I found a way how to do it myself. Uh, you can add an ambient occlusion node, and we'll drag the mask node over here, and make the color ramp. I don't know why actually I am just messing around and 
finding out how to make things work and we're going to make a separate RGB and just plug that into there and let's see what we've got we've got a red texture that just almost covers the whole helmet we've got a green texture that does literally the same thing but just a little less um, and we've got a blue texture that literally doesn't do anything so uh, we probably want the red texture because it's soft and nice and it just makes everything look perfectly fine yeah okay so ambient occlusion you can just add that by doing this adding a mix node mix shader or a mix RGB go ahead plug that in plug did I do that right? oh I think I did yep I did do it right so uh, basically uh, this is how uh, a normal texture looks like the, the, the normal diffuse and when you add ambient occlusion it just looks way better and yeah so uh, and you, you can go ahead and plug that into the diffuse and now it's just cool so uh, it, you don't see it a lot on the helmet but when you go ahead and just do it on a body it just looks way better uh, this is what oh no this is what uh, with ambient occlusion looks like and this is without and as you can see it just doesn't have the beautiful dark lines that just makes it more more re makes it more realistic and shadowy yeah okay now we are going to discuss the god damn drivers the annoying ass drivers so basically what drivers do is um, you can go uh, you can get over here and just slide this and that's basically what drivers do that that's it uh, but you can add certain certain values to drivers and then they're actually going to do things drivers yeah so uh, we want this to be no we want this to be zero and we want this to be four I think yeah okay now we've got this right uh, and now as you can see we can go ahead and add for example skins blue textures D no D there you go uh, you can go ahead and add that we've got this texture now that's oh that's the wrong texture no that was not right we've got the we need the head and you can get the freak out of there now this is the right texture so this is just the blue the blue one uh, and say you want the so you want to click this thing and this just changes the color all in a whole uh, you can do that you can definitely do that so uh, we will grab this texture awesome the white head uh, and we'll make a mix RGB yeah what the hell just happened okay and we want to pl plug the wait if you've got two D textures right uh, the two diffuse textures and you want to display uh, two different diffuse textures by one click right just switch between them just just like it's like it's like you add this thing 
and it looks weird but what you gonna do now look you, you slide between these and you make it another color uh, you're gonna <clears throat> uh, you're gonna right click this instead oh wait before we do that we want to copy the data path you want to right click this add a driver delete that input that uh, we're going to name it style uh, no uh, I mean we're not gonna do that we're gonna do that again we're gonna do that we're gonna insert that style by the way if you've got two of if you've got two or more for what this is basically just what this is the mo it's just meant to be the mesh so yeah you basically want to do that um now if you oh Uh, now if now as you can see this is purple this has turned purple and you've got this now and when you switch between these you just switch between <coughs> the colors awesome thing right and that's what I did with a th frick load of textures in my other thing uh, yeah and if you just followed this whole tutorial you just made this ridiculous amount of shit um, just just for one helmet isn't that great yeah okay but um, one more thing if you want to do uh, this thing for uh, for these the face lunatics uh, just, just so you can switch between these faces like like this uh, you literally have to do the same thing so <clears throat> uh, okay you will have to make this mix node and insert the same driver insert uh, you know what I'm just going to do that I, I'm too tired for this uh, I'm going to set this to 1 because I don't care and I'm going to set this to 0 and 4 so this is this now yes this now is style no face awesome I'm just going to do a lot of this shit because y'all want to see how I do it and so I'm going to do it because yes uh, where's, uh, okay so you can go in no nope, not that no no delete the keyframe okay so we've got this right all right yeah we got it the face yeah, four. Okay, you go ahead and copy the data path. Just add a driver. And delete that. Add that. Make this do that. Uh, copy the data path. <coughs> Jesus Christ, I think I'm sick. And just name it face. Name that face. You don't have to do that, but it's just... I don't know why I do it. Um, and when you do this, oh, plug that in there. When you do this now, you can change between faces. But when you try to do that again, this is, uh, I got asked why uh, I had more nodes for this on Twitter. No, I did it again. Shut up, keyframe. You just wanna... No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why am I doing this? Add driver. So you wanna do it again, right? Uh, grab the same thing. Insert... Revile. Who am I kidding? God damn it. Value. Copy. No. Damn it! Copy data path. I should be... So much more. Oh, 
I should not be making this video right now. I'm so just dumb at this moment. Uh. Face. Face. There you go. Awesome, right? Yeah. Now, if you change this, you want to. You, so you want to have uh, more more faces, right? Uh, so you want to change this from that to that, but you will see. You only have two faces, but you have three faces in here. Well, that's because Blender doesn't let you overwrite some some things. Yeah. So we're going to add a math node and plug that in there, set this to 1 and make a subtract thing and plug that in there. And now we can go ahead and make some multiple faces and just go ahead and do that for the same thing all over again. But if you want to add another mix node, you go ahead and <coughs> do the same thing. My <coughs> spits mm, my spit tastes like blood that's not right I think so uh, okay what was I doing oh yeah I was that uh, you, you wanna yeah you want to set this to two because if you don't want to set this to one you want to set this to two because otherwise it's not gonna work uh, do we have an unplugged node? I know we do. There you go. Uh, let's see what's this. Okay, this one needs a vector too. <clears throat> okay, yeah. So, you wanna go ahead and plug that in there. Awesome. Now, yeah. Yeah. Now. Now you can go ahead and just do this. Yeah. And there's probably another face, uh, which is the effects texture. This one. And that's just uh, green. So you want to add another one. I'm gonna copy this, set this to 3, make that, make that, and where is the green, there you go, and now you can go ahead and see all the faces, and this one is the coolest, because I don't know how to animate the other ones yet, I haven't figured it out yet but this one is the coolest because this one is animated yeah and it's easy to animate this thing okay so this is my tutorial on how to make shit now you've got a fuckload of shit and it's, it's awesome and I don't know how to organize my shit like fries so I am messed up with my shit yeah, see ya. Bye. Oh yeah, by the way, I will uh, put this download link for the, this whole character in uh, the description of this video. Because some of you don't know how to make an IK rig. Uh, IK rigs are basically just rigs that make your character move in a cool way. Just really easy. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave that in the description if you want to download it.